playwright Mbonye Ngema has described the late playwright and choreographer Welcome Msomi as a close friend who contributed immensely to the creative industry. Msomi uh, died in Johannesburg at the age of uh, 76. We're joined now on the line by Mr. Mbonye Ngema. Very good evening to you. Uh, thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, today must be a rather difficult day for you having heard about the death of uh, Welcome, Msomi, as well as Umami Ameri Twala. Yes, it all just came like a flood. Uh, at the same time, both people that I knew so well, that I have worked with so closely, that I've lived with so closely. And, yeah, it just... It just came like a flood mm. all, all at the same time. Let's talk about Uba Welcome Somi first. Um, as I mentioned, he died at the age of 76. Uh, it's quite incredible, his story, having written his first book at the age of uh, 15 and, as we mentioned, making a mark within Isizulu literature. When did you get to know him and how did you interact with him? When I, he's an elder brother to me. Uh, when I was, I was growing up in Durban, you know, before he took Umabata, the Zulu Macbeth, overseas, uh, I was always, we were in the same township, in mm. We were always interacting together. Uh, I had started myself writing plays at that time as a young man, you know, and uh, yeah, he was one of the people uh, that I looked up to. Uh, and obviously him and the great Gibson Cantor at the time. Mm. And if I remember quite correctly, that he also had a lot to do with development of theatre at townships and undertook various projects to help grow this. Am, am I correct? Yes, of course, he was uh, right there at the epicenter of developing theatre in, the, in the townships. Uh, when it was so difficult to do any theatre for a black person in South Africa. Mm. It's interesting because I just remembered that uh, some of what I was doing at that time, uh, at a young age, trying to get into the theatre, that he was spearheading some of those uh, projects. Let's talk about him at later life and... Unfortunately, uh, he lived under a cloud within the last couple of uh, months. Uh, he also was ill with uh, diabetes and then had a coma. How, how did he feel about this, um, the allegations, uh, the conviction? Did you ever talk about how life had turned out for him? No, I never had an opportunity to talk to him. Uh, in fact, maybe in the last two years hmm. uh, prior to his uh, passing. Uh, but I was aware that he was not well. He was sick. Uh, I got to read about his life in the newspapers. Uh, it was unfortunate because of what he contributed to South Africa. Uh, that his final days on Earth were clouded by... What happened, what he had done, uh, the money that he took from the Department of Arts and Culture and all of that, it, it, it is unfortunate, but it doesn't take away his contribution uh, in the fraternity of arts and culture. And, and how do we celebrate that legacy? Um, as we mentioned, that he was instrumental in inculcating and promoting dance and theatre in black communities. But in, in, in the country as a whole, many of his plays are celebrated, as you say. He took some of them uh, abroad as well. How do we, in, you know, ensure that we keep that legacy alive? Well, I think that uh, he made a mark, you know, he took Zulu dancers when Zulu dance was not fashionable. Uh, took people who were never in the theater before, who never trained for theater, and put them on the stage and crafted the work that uh, went to tour successfully overseas. And a lot of those people never actually came back to South Africa. They found a better life for themselves overseas and settled there, got married there. Uh, and to this present day, most of them have their families there. So that is something to celebrate. Uh, it is something that our young people should 
learn, know about and, and, and celebrate that leader. Mm. Your words of comfort to Mam Mary Twala's uh, family. Uh, we were speaking with Udata uh, John Kani earlier on, and he was remembering, recalling the experience of working with you on Sarafina and Somizi and Mam Mary. Wow, well, I mean, that, that is a complete devastation. I mean, Mam Mary, now, basically, in her own right. I mean, I remember as a young man arriving at Gibson Kenter's table, uh, these are the people that I, I used to look up to when when Sis Mary was in How Long uh, uh, and Ifikano. And, and I, I said to myself, one day I would not work with these people. And yes, indeed, uh, that was to be. I would be rubbing shoulders with her, rehearsing in the same room and performing on the same stage with her. Uh, up until the time when we did Sarafina, the movie, I casted her in the role. And even later, when I was working on another, on another production in New York, I brought in Sis Mary, uh, Neta Mbulu, and, and other South Africans, Annalyn Malibu, Tunogwe, and American uh, actresses uh, to do a production myself and Duman uh, called uh, Sheila's Day. So my life with Sis Mary stretches many, many, many decades. Uh, I celebrate her life. I think she did great for all of us. Uh, I can only pass my condolences to the family, Mm. particularly Usomizi, because I know how close Usomizi was to the mother. But yes, she played her part. May her soul rest in peace. Writer, director and theatre producer Mbongeni Ngema, thank you very much for speaking to us.